Now this video is all about what's inside the nucleus of an atom. And what I'm going to be doing is for all of these videos, I'm going to be using the yellow uh, bricks here to be my protons. And I'm going to use the red ones as neutrons, okay? And the reason I did this was because years ago, um, I found some resources uh, which I've found incredibly useful. Okay, these were produced for Queen Mary uh, University of London, and they basically talk about particle physics using Lego. Now, basically, this was uh, you know it does get quite complicated, and this is kind of the basis of uh, all the kind of particle physics and the way I teach it now. So there are links to all of these documents uh, just below this video. So basically, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, the red ones to be neutrons and uh, the yellow ones to be protons. Now inside the nucleus, what we have are neutrons and uh, protons. And basically, depending on how many we have, that tells us a lot about the different element or isotope that we might have. Now, um, let's just start with something very simple. If you have just one proton, uh, so this yellow one here, this is hydrogen, okay? And it has a symbol H and the numbers one, one, okay? Um, what we have is basically the number at the bottom is called the Z number. And this can either be called the proton number, or sometimes it's also referred to as the atomic number. Now the number at the top is often uh, called A, and this stands for the nucleon number. Where a nucleon is just a particle that exists in the nucleus of an atom, so a nucleon can be a proton or a neutron. So here we have just some hydrogen. And what I'm going to do at this time is ignore all the complicated stuff to do with electrons, okay? When we think about how electrons get involved, that's I guess where we get into chemistry, and it actually makes it quite complicated. In terms of nuclear physics, at this time, even though there would be, with hydrogen, perhaps one electron and one proton, so there's no net charge, I'm just going to ignore that uh, when we actually kind of consider this kind of nuclear physics. Now, we do have hydrogen that still has one proton, but it also has a neutron attached to it as well. And here, what we have is an isotope. Now this one here is still hydrogen, it has one proton, but now it's got two nucleons, so the number is two at the top. Now there's a third kind of um, hydrogen that we have. Again, it must have one proton, but this one has two neutrons, okay? And again, we can represent that uh, with this symbol here. And what we have now are different isotopes. So an isotope is um, an element that has a different number of neutrons. And actually what we have when we, we talk about hydrogen in particular, we have our normal kind of bog standard hydrogen that you know, most of the universe is made out of. We also have one that has two things in the middle, which is called deuterium. And finally, the thing that has three things in the middle is what we call tritium. So these are just some different isotopes. Now, if we had um, maybe one of these, but this time it had maybe two protons in the middle, it can't be hydrogen anymore because it's the protons that determine the element. But what we do have is something that has two protons and one neutron. Now this thing here is helium and it has the numbers two, three. And sometimes the way that we write different isotopes is we can also write this as helium three. And that distinguishes it from the more common kind of helium that we have over here. And this one here is, uh, because it has four things inside, this one is helium four. And this is the kind of thing that you get in party balloons, as well as this part here, which is the nucleus of a helium atom, is also our alpha radiation. 